Normally I do it on uh, on stream. Or like just off stream. Okay, he should be pushing it up towards me. Like his animations look so different from normal Renekton, it's really hard. Did you see the ghost crawler thing on Twitter? I did. Weird stuff. We can talk about it more after the game if you want though. Yeah, I'm gonna try some Sorkies here. You can do that? Oh, there goes my ping. Oh, there goes my connection. Man. Wait, it happened at the wait, didn't it happen the same time last night? Around around 940? Ugh, rip dude. Hopefully my upload at least holds up. Um I wouldn't mind singe buffs friction, uh only cause his items suck. I think he could use some, to be honest with you, because the items are terrible. I can't really TP on that. They already died. Rip me bot lane. The items are just awful, so like I'm not super keen. You know what I mean? If you had better items, I would expect I would accept nerfs, honestly, if the items were better, but it's just the items are such an important thing. For Singed. I actually would not be shocked if they buffed him soon. I feel that he's I could see them doing that. TBH. You can man, thanks for the gifted sub, I appreciate that, man. Yeah, demonic buff or like a uh, Rhylize buff or something. I think they need cost reduction very badly. The cost is too high for what you get on those items. They just cost way too much and you don't get that much out of them. Okay, can't kill him. I'll back off though, no big deal. Potentially, Rek'Sai could do something here. We'll see. I do have TP up. Yo, bot lane, let's go! Oh my, I got TP, brother. I wanted to go on that, but that's okay. That is a okay. Yeah, I think I think 2.8k gold for demonic and 2.8k for Rhyalize would be like so much more fair. Cause like think about it, think about it. Look at Hullbreaker. 2.8k gold. It is like absolutely 100% a better item than uh, Rhyalize and demonic. It's not even close, actually. It's so much better, right? If I had ignite, that guy was dead, but FTP? That is okay. Yeah, like, like, Holebreaker is absolutely insane compared to Rhylize and Demonic. It's cheaper. It's cheaper by 200 gold. Holebreaker already was insane. Why is there a ward back there? Okay, yeah, Graves is bottom, so I should be good to proxy. It's nearly tied. Yeah, not 2.6. 2.8 would be fine. <laughs> that should get cannon right there. Nice. For Gucci. Why did I... I did not push that. That is odd. Oh, I had it on 2 and not 3. My bad. Do I just go AP? I think I do. Yeah, actually, no, 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 no. We're gonna go, uh, yeah, we will, actually. I was gonna say I save for Sorks, but only have 750. <laughs> only problem with having Predator Singe is I feel like I don't do damage in lane. Yeah, I mean, you're not really meant to, to be honest. But the reason why is because I feel that even with Conquer, you're kind of fighting a losing battle. So like, what's the point, right? If if you're gonna lose all of your duels with Conquer anyways, then what's the point of having Conquer if you cannot use it to 
be strong in the moments that the rune is supposed to be strong. Why even play it? That's sort of my logic. You know what I mean? So if I'm going to take Conquer and I'm going to lose all my duels because other people just use their runes better than me or use their items better than me or have stronger champions than me, then why would I play on that condition? It just doesn't make much sense, in my opinion. Okay, Graves is mid. I'm gonna go ahead and proxy this and then leave. Oh? I think Rek'Sai is fine. Or Rek'Sai is super dead, bro. So here's the thing, even even if you duel properly, right? So take for take for example, take for example, you know, arguably the best Singe player in the world. Wind Wind, or we could even use Kuba as an example. These two players are both running Conqueror, but like they're not they're not posting scores that would like suggest that they're winning lane with it. You know what I mean? So so what's the point? And if you watch their replays, like they're not exactly solo killing or dominating their lane or any in any sort of way. I feel that then then my question basically becomes why would you even play for the lane? Legends. Like what's what's the point, right? If you look at the stats as well. Predator has um, a 20% pick rate, Diamond 2+, plus, with a 55% win rate, compared to Conqueror, which is a higher pick rate, sure, but it's a 50% win rate. So, again, like, you just start playing versus these opponents that are not, like, Singed, the champion, can't 1v1 like that. Like, you just can't. Then what What becomes, like, the purpose of having the having the rune, right? You have 14 forever. Thanks for two months. I appreciate it, man. Yeah, you get outdueled by Grasp, you get outdueled by PTA, you get outdueled by Conqueror, you get outdueled by fucking everything and anything, man. So why would you play it, you know? It doesn't make sense to me. No, there's no point in fighting this guy? Not yet. I need to start roaming. Oh, let's go for this. Can I do this? My fling is chunky with that, uh, with the Sork Shoes Rush. Man, god damn it. Ugh, rip. Probably can kill, he's half health, I need Rek'Sai though. Oh, he's super low. Got him, let's go. Yo, Sorkshi's doing some work though. Actually, unironically, it, it, it just did. He got a ton of bonus damage. I'm not saying you're wrong, Jeremy. I'm just speaking from my experience, right? And plus, like, when you mechanically think about it, it takes Singe, like... The fastest you can proc Conqueror is in, like, two seconds, but that's using, like, Ignite, Rocket Belt, Perfect Fling, Poison, Auto, Auto, like, everything just goes completely good for you, right? Considering you're doing everything perfectly. And even then... The enemy top laner, if it's Jax or Irelia or Fiora or whoever, even then, they can and they will proc their Conqueror first. Jax can get uh, double stack W, stack on Q, stack auto, stack E, auto reset, full stack, like, instantly, right? So even with you using summoner spells and items to proc your Conqueror, they'll proc it faster, right? So, like, why? I just don't see the point of it, like... 
I don't think it's that good. I think it's extremely overrated. And again, when you when you sort by the stats in high elo, like Predator has a pretty high picker rate, 19%, and like 5% higher win rate, which I think is like outside of the margin of error, personally, so. Not to mention, you have to use an item to get into the fight. Whereas with Predator, yeah, I have to use an item, but it's my tier 1 boots, like... Like, I can just kill, right? No big deal. Got his ass. Our first blood here as well. Winning lane pretty handily. But yeah, like, I'm not saying you're wrong, right? Everyone's experience is different. And, and definitely, there's some people who are better playing Conqueror than others, but, like, when you really stop and look at it, like, it just doesn't add up. I'll grab Rifty. We'll go into uh, probably Rylai's or Demonic here. Good thing I have Minish Cap, who is a dog that no one respects. Needs to be put outside. Yo, Trickster, thanks for the gifted sub, bro. I appreciate that, man. Would you say if you don't like Conqueror, but you're getting used to Predator, Aftrack's good run to use? I think if you're getting used to Predator, you should just play Spellbook and stun because you get like it, they're sort of similar, like weird play styles, right? And Spellbook, I think, is also still very good. If Renekton fights me, I beat him. Nice, I got tier 1 bottom. Really good. Oh, I ain't afraid of your Necton. Yeah, I'm gonna go Rylai's Deathcap. Or Rylai's Demonic, but probably Rylai's Deathcap. Demonic's not that insane here, because only Health Stacker is Renekton. <laughs> Holy yikes, that was worded as fuck. My bad, I guess. Who killed me, Renekton? Yeah. My bad, dude. I almost killed the Ari, though, for what it's worth. Did a lot of damage. I'm gonna try this, actually. Just to avoid that. You can do that? Yo, Dreadlord Dawson, thanks to five gifted subs, bro. Holy shit, man. Thank you so much, Chief. Good thing I have Minish Cap. Thank you, dude. Dog that no one respects. Needs to be put outside. Very kind of you, my mans. Nerf Singe! Nerf Singe! Nerf Singe! He solo killed his ass. She flashed it. Oh, it's Minish Cap. Oh, never mind. This guy fucking sucks. Ah, uh, JK, there's Janna there. Well, maybe with Silas we can. Not gonna walk in. Not gonna walk in. Gonna wait for the wave. He's got her. Nice. All right, we chillin', boys. We chillin'. Can I get this if I can? Ah, fucking graves. All right, nice. I killed Renekton. Very good. Yeah, main account challenger grind starts soon. I don't know if I can hit it, but I'm gonna try my best. This this season's kind of rough for Singed. 
I need to teach myself to use uh, sweeper better. Because when you're rotating from like side lane to mid lane, where your team usually is, it's very important to be able to sweep properly. Oh, hey, thanks. Free money, buddy. Good thing I have dragon coming out. Yo! Mr. Dreadlord Dawson, thanks to the five gifted subs, bro. Holy I shit, Chief. That he's a booster champion. <laughs> Thank you, man. That's very kind of you, dude. Nerf singed! Nerf singed! Nerf singed! Thank you so much, bro. I right, we here, we you should just do, do it. That? I think we just do drag, yeah? yeah. Right, oh, He's chicken shit. Oh, oh, he dead. I can't let go in. I'm gonna leave. And just do this. I'm gonna start it. I lost a lot of health to Dragon before that fight. I think Rexai is doing good though. I'll let you finish this one. I'm gonna recall and help uh, clear top. I actually, even clear mid because they're ace. No one's alive. I can just take this as well. <laughs> because I thanked you for it. Yo, that's just common courtesy, man. I always say thank you to people who are nice to me. But I appreciate it. Okay, I should be able to grab this. And we need to leave. Fuck. Ah, fuck. That was close. Spooky. Fucking Caitlyn. <laughs> Rip, bro. She got me. Okay, we'll go ahead and grab Rhinalize on build towards Death Cap. Do D Cap third. Pokemon Unite stream win. I mean, I've, dude, I've had so many people ask me to do that. I saw a video of like this group of people who thought that like they were playing versus this this like uh, enemy team, where the enemy team had um... oh nice. The enemy team's names were like like Papa forty five, like Mother forty five, and like Cool Kid like thirty two or something. It was like a five stack, and they all had names like that. When they were they were found farming uh, them in the fountain in in Pokemon Unite, they were fountain camping them and then they realized that oh god it actually is a literal family with their children trying to play this pokemon game and we just ruined it for them and like that sort of made me think man if i wanted to play a different mob i could just play dota and dota's like actually good you know what i mean not not saying pokemon unite's not good surely it is probably good but then again, I already have experience in Dota. I'm not that good at it. I used to be a god at Han back in the day, but that game's time is long, long, long gone. Whoa! Holy dude! Yoink! Oh no, he got me, dude! How'd they see me? The Graves saw me coming. That's pink, too. Did they see the, uh... Did 
did they see the the sweeper? Is that how they saw? Does that work like that? Nice. That is traumatic. Yeah, dude, if you're trying to have a fun time playing a Pokemon game with your family, then you get fountain farmed like I wouldn't want to play it anymore. It's like I don't want to ruin anybody's time, right? Dota is more toxic than League. No, it's not. It's it's definitely not. This Ellie's not gonna I would say before, I would say yes, it was. But compared to season eleven league, dude, not nah, <laughs> season eleven league makes a Dota look like a sandbox, children's sandbox. Yo, Trickster, thanks for the gifted sub. I appreciate that, bro. If you're getting five minute cues in silver, you are in Smurf queue, my friend. Unfairly, probably, but you are. <laughs> Mr. Hunting down. Looks like the team's getting some work done over there. Alright, well, I guess I'm going in. See ya. I think I kill you, man. I think if you dash, I kill you. Is it smoke screen? Can I go for dragon? It's nearly time. I can one me when they're an Ecton probably at any point. <laughs> Dude, Cloud Dragon hurts so much to take. Oh, did he flash? Okay, we're getting close to decap. This is kind of spooking me. I think they should back off. I don't like this. If Renekton walks up to farm this, I can probably go on him. There's a grave shadowing him though. Yeah, there is. There's a Janna up there too. I don't want to deal with it. Like over in collision. Whoa, my team is sort of. Looking good, boys. Let's go. Holy shit. And the FF. Very, very nice. GG, dude. Are you normally building Sorcerer Shoes? No, I'm, I'm playtesting it. You definitely notice that damage increase. And to be honest, I don't... I don't think that buying resistance boots like Mercs or Tabby is really going to increase your survivability that much. Honestly. Because there's so much damage in the game. And there's not really a way to get that tanky. Or like as tanky as you need to. Even with the defensive boots. So like... Why not just build damage, right? That's sort of the... Uh, the logic there. What's my damage? Second highest. Not bad. On my team, third highest in the game. I'll take it. Yeah, I barely out-damaged the Graves, but I did out-damage him. Oh, um, I mean, it might just be me and my 